And let's move on to GPD's Wombat's fortnightly news. What do you got, Ooh. Wombat? So there's a fun new glitch in Fortnite that I think they already fixed, but I put the funny video clip on my Twitter if you want to see it, where if you take a tire and throw it at the giant statue of Dwayne Johnson that's in the middle of the Fortnite map, and when I say giant, I mean you could see it from anywhere on the Fortnite map. If you hit him with a tire, the whole statue falls down. And it's a glitch kinda, or that's it's a glitch. It's not supposed to happen. And the statue just kind of topples over and the physics are kind of wonky because it's not supposed to happen. And and it's really funny. That's that's really all I got. Is that that's that's my big Fortnite update of the week. Nice. Uh yeah, it made me laugh. I posted a video because I, I had saw to try it, it myself. I yeah. watched it. See, it. did it make you laugh? Likely, uh, uh, like the rock like, fall down. I was like, "What kind of battle royale is this where you can take the time to throw something at a statue and watch it fall down? Like, aren't you trying to avoid being shot?" The best kind. <laughs> okay, fair enough. The best kind, the kind where I can collect feathers for new hats for a character. I'm not even making <clears> that up. I'm going around the map collecting feathers to unlock new hats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Congrats. Yep. Mm-hmm. Enjoy that. Yeah. What else? Uh, Suicide Squad is being delayed to 2023. Surprise. Yeah. I, know. Surprise. I was looking forward to that. It's what's crazy. Rocksteady hasn't released the game in close. It'll be, I think, eight years since uh, the last Arkham game. Mm. So I'm not saying that that's bad because I actually like that they're able to take their time and make something that hopefully is polished and great is that just to give them more time to get bought by somebody maybe maybe they're waiting crazier things have happened i mean well they're not making any money (laughs) building a game right i mean i think people are still still buying the batman games but not uh, enough i don't think i don't think it's enough yeah no it's kind of crazy because they don't have like uh, i don't know what their revenue stream is need some more yeah, maybe they're maybe they are in that process. Maybe that's why they say 2023. I think we'll probably find out if it is more sooner than later. I bet they're in that process. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Sony. And after this week, I was I was gonna go the other way, but sure. Uh, Sony's like, yeah. Sony, I'm, I'm sure Sony. It's more Sony's wondering. budget slash like kind of their their strategy. It looks like of going over after specific games and rather than uh entire studio type that the only reason why IPs. I, i'm just wondering how they feel with how uh, warner brothers would feel about being with a company that already has an exclusive right video game wise competitor thing spider-man something something batman and spider-man being exclusive characters on a console could be weird they probably don't care as long as they get money. They that's probably can true. get over it any pretty quickly. That's true. I don't know. I'm I I'm not saying that it couldn't happen or that I'd be surprised if it happened. Well, they they might be getting. But, I don't know. I I they might not be Sony or Microsoft. It might be Vincent or yeah somebody else too. going after them. I don't know. It, it just seems like somebody would be going after them. Net and they they probably need some some funding at this point. NetEase was another Chinese gaming company, and they owned uh, part of Bungie. I don't know they invested in Bungie. Mm-hmm. Uh, some other news, Wordle was sold to the New York Times. Yep, it sure was for something in the low seven figures. So, you know, a couple million bucks for a game you made for your girlfriend isn't bad. I and heard can... that was because New York Times wanted to put it in all the other newspapers. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I heard that the New York Times was thinking of getting out of, you know, the actual hard newspaper business and they were going to focus solely on, you know, software, game software. They want subscriptions. They want, they want their crossword puzzles and wordles on every. OK, it's already I think to be honest, thinking. like I wouldn't be surprised if they actually were getting out of the printing business like that can't well, be. That doesn't might make a lot of sense these days. Eh, you'd be surprised. I would be. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> you would be <laughs> uh what else oh another gaming company gate just gave up on nfts like a day after announcing them this time it was uh team 17 team 17 and they were gonna do some worms shit <laughs> and people were just like nope 
How do they not know? Is nobody paying attention? Like, I mean, I if you're the worms people, it makes it makes sense on the on a on very paper. basic level, right? Because Animal. all of your characters look exactly the same. Yes. And you can just give them new sunglasses. That's what or, NFTs or mostly top are. Top hats, right? Like, it makes a lot of sense. I'm like, here's my here's my stupid worm with uh, with a monocle on this one. It's an animal that they can randomly generate clothing and features on, and that's right. what most so NFTs I, I'm are. I'm sure that's what they were thinking. <laughs> right. These look and... seem to be popular. Yeah. The gamers do not like it. They do not want to hear anything about nfts in games there are games that are nft games all right and there are or, ga- or nft well, games I, I that, already, are, that are in development on. can yep. we please move on just move next topic no more nfts nope nope oh nope next well one. if you put some more topics on here we could move on to some <laughs> nope, topics move on but. i understand there are many but i don't care i'm like Sony bought bungee that's one yeah, Sony bought Bungie. Let's talk about how Sony is getting out of the console business and is focused on developing games now for consoles, all the consoles, right? That's what they're doing. Sony, they, they're buying, they, they have Insomniac and uh, Bungie, and they're going to make games, and they're going to put them on the streaming service for all the other consoles. Bungie that- has said on their website that they are making all everything multi-platform. Way, I sound like an idiot when I say that, right? Yeah, you did. You didn't really. Right? You didn't like really. You, you, uh, yeah, saw yeah. that one. Uh huh. You sound like an, just a, just a reminder. If I sound like an idiot when I say that, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but this one, this one's the messaging around this one's really weird, right? Like, so Sony bought them for three point six billion. Mm-hmm. It's a good amount of money, but Bungie's still being independent mm-hmm. as independent as you can when someone buys you for 3.6 correct billion dollars exactly as independent as you are uh in that situation and they're they're still saying that they're putting their games out on on all the platforms did they say all the platforms yep. or just multi-platforms well the way they structured it it seemed like it was i play okay. destiny on steam xbox or stadia will my platform still be supported yes you play Destiny, yes. Your Bungie has future version? games. Bungie has future games in development. Will they now become PlayStation exclusives? No. We want the worlds we are creating to extend to anywhere people play games. We will continue to be self-published, creatively independent, and we will continue to drive one unified Bungie community. Again, it means they're not saying that they're they're really dancing around it. So the current Destiny you have that you could play on your Xbox, you could still play on your Xbox, but future games will not only be playable on PlayStations. That does not mean that you can play it on an Xbox. It yeah, means- that that could be what it is, but it, they're still like I don't know. It's it's not as transparent as some of the other ones. Like like, like it's multi platform could mean PlayStation and PC. It definitely but- means that. Yeah, definitely means that. That's what I think. That's what I think they're saying. I would be surprised, as we say with all these, that anyone is spending three point five billion dollars to ha- to ha- to have to just l- let it hang out on their main competitors. It console. is this. It, it's weird, but this one has a chance because it's only one game. It is only one game, right? It's it's a much different. I don't think. I mean, scenario. I'm sure though. I know they but, want Bungie to make other games for Sony. There's only so that much is. Bungie. I was going to say, well, now they have a little bit more Bungie? I don't know. <laughs> Some spongy Bungie going on? Uh, I mean, it's I, I, pretty straightforward. I play Destiny on Steam, Xbox, or Stadia. Will my platform still be supported? Yes. Yeah, no, it's... The, the, the question is, I well, play this existing game on these things. Will I be able to continue playing this existing game on those things? The, the question isn't, I want to play Destiny 3 on my Xbox. Can I play Destiny 3 on my Xbox? So you're is think, that you a think, question? You think they're if just talking about Destiny? If that's a question <laughs> with a fucking yes or no answer, then I will stop saying something. I mean, they're talking. So you think they're talking about the original Destiny? De- Destiny, and Destiny One, two, they're they didn't only say talking- Destiny Two. They say I play Destiny. Yeah, then, then, yeah. So just only Destiny talking One, about just existing Destiny. No, because they would say Destiny Two, but they say Destiny. That means okay. Destiny then One they're, yes, and they're future being, Destiny. They're being me. intentionally cryptic. 
Why? Because, because it's part of an acquisition. We've, we had this conversation. We had the same exact conversation before. Um, they can't say anything because of how it affects everything else because this deal isn't done yet. Sure. So they can't say one way or another yet at this time. They can only say the way things are right now. And the right. question is, can I play Destiny on it? my Destiny on everything? The answer is yes, you could play your Destiny on everything because that's the way it is today. Do you think but Destiny the is going to... about them being independent, though, and they're publishing and everything is really strange for... for like, that's that's weirder than all this this nonsense about exclusives and everything. Like, what? why? Why would you yeah. pay $3.6 billion for, for that? Doesn't make any sense. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, just it, it, I mean, just reading this now, it's not that obtuse, really. It's Bungie maintains full creative control and publishing independence of the Destiny universe. Publishing independence of the well, Destiny, Destiny universe, just just of Destiny. Sure, okay. sure. Just, yeah. just that makes more sense. Okay, that makes more sense to me. I I missed the just just of Destiny. Portion. That's in the infographic so, that they put out. Gotcha. So then Sony gets. But what else can they do? What, they're going to make Destiny. They're they going to spin the, off. They're going to make something else that's exactly the same as Halo and Destiny, but another <laughs> yes. another universe that's not called Halo or Destiny. Right. And they can use. It's called Resistance. Remember Resistance? Well, now they got money to make more than one game at a time. What was that game that they had where it was like a billion people fighting each other all at once? What was that game? Remember that game? What the hell was that game called? It was a PlayStation oh, online the, game. The it was like fifty on fifty. That was Mag, massive Mag. action game. Massive oh, action I used to play game. That. Yeah, they should remake that. Why was, did that? Why is that not a thing anymore? It did. It's called Battlefield. I'm saying, but it's not a PlayStation Sony right. made game. Well, Mag is I not going to sell any boxes, but no, but it's something that you could put as free. Uh, play for a free to play game that would probably do well in the Sony ecosystem, especially if you slap the bungee name on it. And you could sell people some skins that look like your favorite destiny characters. And uh, congratulations. You have a little money printing machine. Probably want to do something else. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think you want to make a space Marine game. But yeah. Why not? That's that's, been what Bungie has made over the last you mean a space marine 20, action game 20 years yeah. Yeah. i know they 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 had their uh they they had their their strategy games back in the apple days well, what about kill zone is brought up in the chat too they could make a kill zone Bungie's kill zone I, why i can kill i like i like to kill zone a lot it's a name it's an ip mm. They probably don't want to do that, though. I don't know. I'm they're just... going to want to look. They're self-published and creatively independent. They don't want to be making mag or fucking. When it comes Killzone. to destiny, they are. When Only it comes when destiny, it comes to destiny, they're, they're self-published and creatively uh, independent. When it comes to not destiny, when it comes with the... other ones, they're not. They're not independently creative. Oh uh, no! It says we will continue. It says. Bungie has future games in development. Will they now become PlayStation exclusives? We will continue to be self-published, creatively independent, and we will continue to drive one unified Bungie community. That's that's like a non-answer. It doesn't <laughs> even make sense then. That's like, are we going to McDonald's for dinner tonight? We're going to have dinner tonight. It's going to be food, and everyone is going to get to eat. Uh, wait, I don't know. Let's wait. Let's wait a few months to see what happens with this. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd say like the way they've worded it on the website, it it do, they do make it sound like more so than the other acquisitions. Yeah, that it's... but we've also read their stories before. They don't make sense. <laughs> you think they have the writers, the story writers are writing the press yeah, releases writing and the marketing releases. materials? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it makes just as much sense as what these sentences are saying. Right. There's a lot of talk about sacred orbs and stuff in, in these press releases. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you are right. I see. 